What's going on everybody? It is Chris with another episode of My Crazy Crossroads. As always, Big Joey C, Urban up, Ghost, guys? Urban Exploration. We're at an abandoned hotel that uh, Joe's been out to before and apparently everybody has wanted us to come out here. So we took the long trek out here and uh, we're ready to go in there and see what goes on. Apparently we have to walk down this whole side of this building where uh, there's a tent city uh, located where there's a lot of homeless people. So uh, wish us luck. We'll see you guys in a couple minutes. See you on the inside. Peace. All right, guys, we're in here. We're in the hotel. We just walked past um, a bunch of uh, area that it looked like a lot of homeless people are set up in. Why they wouldn't just come stay here, I wouldn't. I don't know. So here we are. <clears throat> wow. Alright guys, we just walked in here. This place is scary as hell. And I don't know if the camera caught it, but Alright guys. Anyway, it's 3 o'clock in the morning when we're being Oh, wow. Wow. So this is literally, looks like they just sort of uh, locked the place up or shut the place down. And, man, this is, this is crazy. I don't know what I just said, guys, but we're here. Yeah. All right, Joe. Yeah, Joe's hearing stuff already. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm going to kind of keep it down a little bit, guys, and see if you can help me hear anything. Look at this, syringes. Ugh. So it's apparent that this place is more or less used for drug use. Which I'd much rather not come across someone using any kind of drugs. Yeah, I wonder if you think we should uh, split or... Hello? Joe? Who's here? Yeah, hello guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, smells like there was a fire in here. I think it might be this uh, grill. Hey, who's back here? You guys need any help? Everybody okay back here? Anybody back here? Guys, look at this. Watch out behind those mattresses. If you smell that, it smells like something burned in here, fire. Oh wow, yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, what? 
Oh yeah, there's people that are here. Yeah, I, this was freshly burnt. Hey guys, if you're here, we're just here to help you out, see if you're okay. Come on out, we're not going to hurt you. Be careful, brother. Look. See all this? Yeah. That was just going. Yep. Man, spoons. Oh, these guys are getting so high in here. Oh, look, there's a... Is this hot? Joe, feel this. This is hot. This is still hot. Look, is and it's it? still smoldering. Yeah, don't touch it. It's still hot. I think it's hot. There's people here right now. So... Watch your back. Hey, guys, we are here to help and see if you're okay. See if you need anything. Hey guys, if anybody's here, yeah. Hey guy, come on out. Come on out here, man. We're gonna help you out. See if you need any help. Come on. I know you're back here. Come on. It's okay, man. I'm not here to hurt you. Nobody's back there. Come on out, buddy. Huh? There's somebody back here. Cause I heard somebody before. Yeah. Alright. Let's throw a Let's just be real careful. I'm going to shut this light for a minute just because I need to save this in case we need it. deal guys there's a couple of doors that are closed there's obviously some people here uh, I don't think it's a good idea for us to open the doors because you know let's leave them be we don't need to cause any grief for these people yeah there's people you can see the beds are actually have comforters and everything on Mm-hmm. They kick holes in the wall and then there's a hole where it goes Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that before yeah. and then they run through. Yeah. Oh, that is weird, guys. This is this is burning still. You can see. Oh, I don't want to touch it, but you can see the smoldering fire. The coals are still very hot. Hey, we didn't mean to disrupt you guys. We're just here to see if you're okay and need anything. Not here to cause any trouble, just again, want to see if you need any help. Do you want to venture over to the restaurant? I think we should. I mean, we're here. This is 
going to check over here. I mean, it's crazy. How fast are these people? Right? They're going to be single walls. Yeah, kind of weird. We're dealing with more than the paranormal guys, see so wall right here, see here? we have to be very careful. Look at this, it goes all the way down to the guy from that room yep. right down there. Yep. That's what they do. They, if you see the little holes in the walls, actually this is, there's no way somebody's getting through that. But there were a couple of real big holes in the wall Just watch where, you step where people here. can come running out. Hello? Sort of reminds me of like a, a zombie movie. <laughs> it's like The Walking Dead, man. Yeah. I think we should uh, venture into the um, restaurant. Yeah, let's go check it out. Look at that spider. Thank God, man. She's a big one. Yeah, it's a good idea, Joe. <clears throat> well, this is. um. Once again, a very I guess you that they step in people here sad so situation. Well, they do, they Not so much for the hotel being uh, being down, but for the people that are and, uh, they are taking us. coverage here. Um, which I'm glad they have some nice shelter. That's for sure. Because it's dangerous living out in the woods and on the side of the road, and it's hot and nasty and swampy. Unfortunately, most likely they're all drug addicts. Anybody in there? But you know what? Somebody popped up this window mm -hmm. here. So you see how this this room's closed. Right? Yeah, these, some of these rooms are connected with each other. Yeah, this one is. This room's closed. There's you know, a mattress. I think we gotta go this way to get into the restaurant. But the mattress is blocking the door, so that means to tell me that there might be somebody in there. Anybody here? Hey guys, we're here. If, uh, if you need anything, we're here to help. Want to check to make sure you're okay? Nothing to be afraid of, guys. We're here to help you. Creepy, creepy, creepy. creepy. Yeah, this is where. Down here, Joe? Guys, I'm going to shut off and come back on real quick. Okay, I'm back. Look at this pool. Yeah. 
Welcome to the beautiful Florida resort. This at one time was probably very nice out here. You hear that? So, back in that corner, if you guys can see where I'm flashing the light, I'd say from that end down, there's uh, some activity in there. There's people there. Jesus Christmas. Wow. What was that? Something just went, <laughs> went flying in the water. Beautiful uh, location this probably was. I think it was a bar slash restaurant. Anybody here? Again, guys, I want to just keep it as quiet as possible. Joe, I'm going to check out this front lobby. You good? Anyone in here? If anybody's here, guys, we're here. We come in peace. We want to check on you to make sure you're okay. If we need anything, come on out and talk to us. We're here to help. Sorry for the quick movement, guys. I'm gonna go back here. Again, anyone in here, I'm here to help. If you need any help, I wanna make sure you're okay. Anyone here? I used to play this video game with my son. I think it was called Battlefield or maybe it was a Call of Duty. But you used to go into buildings like this. I know this seems silly, but this is just what this reminds me of. And, uh, you know, it would be like terrorist versus counter-terrorist. It was a lot of fun. This is uh, it's a little more real. All right, looks like we're now in the restaurant area. Anyone here? If anyone is in here, just let us know. We're here to help. Sorry guys if I'm stepping on my words too, but I'm a little, a little on nerve. <clears throat> okay. oh. 
Good old Carmen After Hours was here. Shameless plugs, guys. Tom Rhodes. Oh, get out of here. Good old Tom Rhodes. Get lost. I'm going to have to send that to my buddy. He knows Tom real well. Very funny comedian. There's good old Lou Angel Wolf. He's from my neck of the woods. <clears throat> so, they did some stand-up out here. Hello? Wow. This place is just, it looks like they just said, you know what, we're done. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to be open for another day. It actually looks like they had something on the stove when they boogied out of here. There is nothing worse than old, dirty grease. You can see it on the floor, it just smells. And look at this grease traps knocked down. And this is the walk-in cooler. Let's check this back office. Kind of crazy because it feels like, or it sounds like, there's conversation. I'm not going to step in this walking, guys, because I just have a fear of it actually closing on me. So, I'm sure there's nothing back there. I hope you understand. If you don't, sorry. But, it sounds like there's conversation going on everywhere. This is a restaurant that possibly could have been featured on a show of hoarders because, I mean, come on. There's so much junk. Really creepy, guys. Really creepy. Let's see if I can find Joe. Are we hearing voices? You know, it sounds like I hear people uh, conversing. Yeah. <clears throat> blows me away is how this just looks like everybody just said hey let's go everybody out now yeah. and they just got up and left they said it seems like um it is like an apocalyptic type thing. it really is it really is it's very very weird like this is something you'd see in like well the walking dead yeah very odd all right i just that's all kitchen back there i don't know if you want to go through i went through it yeah, you can go through. I mean, it's fine in there. A bunch of autographed pictures. Yeah, actually, Tom Rhodes and Lou Angel Wolf. Yeah. And uh, a couple of comedians. Pretty funny. So it's pretty good in here. There's uh, definitely. I thought I thought we would have found some people in here. This would make more sense for them to hang out in here, other than those nasty rooms in the back. But thankfully, there's no no homeless people here. It sounds like uh, 
one thing, and, and let me know, guys, if you do hear this in the comments, that um, I hear a lot of, like, conversation. Could be the head, could be my mind. So, I will know when I listen to the playback also. This is really cool, though. Very sad, very sad, too, to see all those people outside and what they're going through just in life. But, that's the way it goes. All right, Joe, I'm going to hit the front here where you are. See, all this stuff, it's just so weird, because even if they knew they were leaving um, and closing this place up, oh, look at all this, guys. It's all needle uh, syringe tops and rat droppings. But all this stuff could have been salvaged and sold for something. I mean, big keg box here, freezer, pool tables, tables, chairs. I mean, this is all money even all these you know, these glassware A beautiful bar they could have probably sold all of this this wine chiller here just big big money that's just tossed away wow this is Weird. Stuff just falling out of the ceiling. There's another bit. Oh. Another big uh, stand up freezer. I'm going to shut down for a half a second. I'm at 14 minutes, so. Okay, guys. We were going to walk. We were going to walk back to the car. Then we realized that's kind of silly, so just took a little, little break, cooled off a little. Um, I guess we're just going to venture around a little more. Just a lot of weird voices. Not, nothing crazy. No screaming or anything like that, but just conversation. And uh, back over where we were just before I cut, where I was showing and asking if anybody needed anything. There's people back there for sure. Um, they're hiding, and I don't blame them, you know. So we're going to respect them and kind of uh, give them their space. This is more their place than it is ours, that's for sure. Uh, I guess we're, we're a guest, so we're going to head back in, check it out a little more. I say we go back in. We're going to want to go back in. Yeah. Here, because I think that's a good idea. I just think we just leave them, those people, alone, and yeah, just do a little uh, investigating in here. Yeah. Are right, we gonna see if we can capture anything? Yeah, we're just gonna kind of. Every time I've been here, I captured something. <clears throat> There's definitely voices. <sighs> it's just so hot. What is that little window there? You... What that leads to? I didn't see that before. Oh, it's a door.
these bar cans. These, these lights are expensive. All this equipment, man. So what I'm thinking is the people that are outside are outside right now because it's it's hot and you're getting a breeze. They can't, you can't sit in here. It's like sitting in a closed car. But when it's cool out, I'm sure they come in here and hang out and do what they have to do. I just don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me, but sounds like there's noise. <clears throat> Whispers too. That's all we hear is whispers. I know I'm whispering right now, but if there's someone here and you want to communicate, please communicate. Tell us you're okay. Whispering. Just all kinds of whispering. I just hear whispering, Joe. Yeah, I hear, I hear a lot of talking back here, man. I hear it out there. You're hearing it out there, too? Yeah. Oh, well, just whispering. Like, it sounds like keep saying conversation, it just sounds like short little somebody trying to converse. What was that, Joe? What is that? Sounds like a rumble. You know, it's weird to see that pill bottle right there. Last time it was here with Ashley. That pill bottle, we were joking around about it, and something said, don't judge me. It feels like there's like a, there's feels, I'm starting to get that feeling like some, something's on top of us again. You want to move out? Just do one more time and then just gonna call it a day. You know, like all these refrigerators and stuff were not knocked down last time. It's a shame people can be vandalized, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they sure do, Joe. Yeah. Hear that? 
What did you hear? What Shit. the fuck happened? What? What's wrong with you? Oh, f what happened? What's the matter? Something, something. Joe, your shirt's ripped. Something grabbed my back, bro. Chris, something. Your shirt's ripped, Joe. What do you mean my shirt's ripped? Your shirt is ripped. Are you fucking kidding me? Stop moving for a second. Chris, You're what's right? wrong with my back? It's, it's burned, right? Oh, what the hell? It's, your shirt's ripped. You catching on something? I don't know. It was right here, man. You were right here, Joe. Let me see. Come here. My back's like burned. It's very irritating. Oh, it looks like you got a little scratch or something. You didn't catch on anything? Holy cow. No, what would I have caught it on? I don't know. Jesus, dude. What's with you and your back, man? What's wrong with my back? No, it doesn't. It just looks irritated. I'm just. I remember the la that one time you got burnt too. Are you fucking kidding me? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to know what the freak grabbed my back. Joe, there, there was nothing. There was nothing here. There was nothing there. You were right over here, buddy. Nail sticking out the wall. No, so I don't even uh -uh. think my back wasn't even on the wall, bro. Holy cow, man! That's a that's a big tear. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, your shirt's ruined. Oh fuck! Holy cow! Bro, what did it? Oh my! God. Did something get me? <laughs> I don't know. All I heard was you scream. Are you alright, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to have shit you laid off. Here. Can you fill my bag for me? I, I yeah. want to see what's yeah, going here. on with my bag. Here, hold this. Dude, what's up? My back is on fire, man. Right there, man. It looks like something got you. It's very mild, whatever it is. It's not like it, it didn't break your skin at all. What did I cut my shirt on? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's definitely irritated. Are you fucking kidding me? But this is. So strange. I don't get it. Oh, Alright guys, I'm freaking the fuck out. Alright, relax man, we're good. No, my good. back's on fire. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna put my shirt on. You're okay though, man. You, let's, let's, you wanna move out of here or don't forget Here tonight. I did feel that. Uh, I said there's a lot of little voices, but uh, I did feel like there was something like with us just prior to Joe screaming. I don't know if that's what it is, but he said it's back, so. Are you okay? Yeah, my back's on fire. Oh boy. I have a feeling that a lot of people have been saying that something attached itself to you in that Medina house. And you had the same issue with your back. Alright, I'm just going to... So... It's really strange because, as you know, I've only been doing this for a little bit of time, but I, I do know that something's going on with him, and uh, there's nothing here. It's not like something cut him or anything, but a lot of people have been been saying stuff that um, they've been sending me messages that I need to watch out for Joe because they think that something attached himself to him. Is it possible? He's still complaining his back's on fire, so... Alright. I'm gonna take care of him. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Just stripping down. Oh, wow. Hold on. Come here. Let me see your back. Come here.
What? Oh yeah, it's definitely irritated there. I gotta get out of here. I can't even have this shirt on. Let's go. Fuck this. I'm get out. I don't know. Like, and you still got that burn from the other one. Alright. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna move. We're gonna move on guys because he's he's burning. So we're gone. I don't know what it is. But Joey's hurting. We're out of here. Do you have another shirt in the car? Did you bring another shirt? No. I just can't because I said it hurts. And my back hurts. Man, what's up with my back, bro? Seriously. What's up with my back? Yeah, it's definitely something. Something got you. It seems like it's. Uh, I feel like I gotta get something on it. Yeah, I got that. Um, I've good. got that stuff in my car for the ointment. Fuck out of here. All right. You smell that uh, charcoal again? So, it's a good thing I have a first aid kit in my car. Just we're gonna go back and uh... Cause I don't know if I need to get a tetanus shot. I don't know why I cut my back. So. Nah, that's a good point. I might have to take them and get it checked out. And it didn't break the skin though, so that's good, Joe. You're okay. Alright guys. We're just gonna make our way out of here, so... Bear with us. Yeah, his back is his back is burning up. Just let's just go, bud. Cause I want to get something on there before it starts. Wow. Look at that. Holy. God. Yeah, it seems like it's getting more and more irritated, Joe. Yeah, my back, my whole back's on fire. All right, let's get out of here. This way. with you and your back, man. That's weird. I don't know. But I don't know what I could have caught it on. That's what's freaking me out. Yeah, it wasn't caught on anything. This is my point right now, guys. We're just going to make our way to here pretty quickly, so. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut it off here. So we got to walk out. What's that? Where? Where? I don't see it. Oh, that is freaky. See that? The black cat just staring at us. Oh, that, that is freaky. There it goes. All right. Oh, it's still looking at us. All right. Okay, guys, we're gonna cut this off because we gotta walk back to the car and we gotta walk along the uh, the highway to get there. Um, so. I just hope Big Joe's okay. I'm sure he is. Get him back to the car and get some ointment on there to make sure we can get the stinging and the burning to stop. So it's weird. These places are so weird. Sorry, my man. camera just but, shut off. But like I was saying, this is really cool. Um, different perspective. Um, I enjoy seeing all this new stuff. Um, but my biggest concern is Big Joey C to make sure he's okay. I'm sure he's going to be. But like I said, we just want to. Get some ointment on there, make sure he's good. Um, thank you again, guys, for watching. Merchandise, all the good stuff's down below. Don't forget, Cameo has, uh, has been so much fun. I'm enjoying that so much. But subscribe, like, share. We'll see you guys next time.